could do a little something called streamer myths and tips fishing tying and guiding with pictures and video I think it'll be pretty cool one myth is definitely that it has to be complicated probably from guys like me um, that make hour and a half long tying videos and using deer hair and how things taper and all that but tying dry flies and mergers is just as complicated maybe it takes less time they're smaller but it's it's as complicated as you want to make it and and a lot of fishing can be done successfully i, I say it somewhat in jest sometimes but swinging olive woolly bugger through good water at the right time and, and you'll find success and some good fish if you do it enough uh same goes for a clouser i'm being 100 percent serious it doesn't have to be complicated milk is complicated uh lactate two percent one percent whole milk buttermilk skim there's other milk too i'm sure soy milk almond milk I know it's not milk anyways it, it's like anything it can be as complicated as you want to make it um, so experiment with what you have you don't need a new rod you don't need a new fly line um, it, it's a learning process but so is fly fishing when you started nymphing or dry fly fishing you were probably really bad at it and you did things wrong and the same thing happens with streamer fishing it's just that people pick it up after same thing goes for streamer fishing. Um, I, my camera just cut out, so I don't know. <clears throat> you pick it up after you pick up nymphing and, and dry fly fishing. So all of a sudden, it's this totally different thing because it is a different thing. Your line is weighted. Um, so so it's, it's not even ignore the whole taper thing and is it sinking full sink intermediate um you know triple density sink tip ignoring all that stuff the the fact is for a lot of these sinking lines you're throwing something that weighs more and and travels through the air differently your leader setup is different it's shorter the thing your terminal tackle oftentimes is less air resistant than you know some of these i was looking for a peanut complex twist some of these things metal metal couple wraps of lead there's a bunch of stuff in here but after this gets wet i mean the the air resistance relative to the momentum of this is going to be less than your fly line which is the opposite of a dry fly cast um, or you know it's also the opposite of of musky fly fishing where where most of the time it's a super air resistant fly which is why you need super heavy lines so just like four weight three weight blue lining brook trout requires a completely different set of gear leader flies line um than euro nymphing than uh swinging for steelhead streamer fishing and and the type that i i think uh most folks are interested in here or the or the the concept that is possibly unfamiliar streamer fishing for for brown trout, um, yeah, it requires a different set of gear. Can it be done on a five weight with floating line? Sure, absolutely. Uh, will you find that targeting a lot of the different 
holding zones is easier with a sink line and you know a seven weight yeah probably um is you is your own casting style and fishing style and river going to uh yield that maybe that five weight and intermediate is a better option or an eight weight with 350 grain full sink is something that you've completely fallen in love with and you're landing fish on it and you're able to do things that you thought you couldn't do um and the same thing is happening with rude same thing's happening with the five weight intermediate line you know a couple counties over or whatever um w with someone else so a, a lot of it's personal preference it's it, it's part of it's an investment you know you you're, you got into fly fishing and you got into nymphing and you got into euro nymphing, dry fly fishing, uh, topwater bass, whatever it is. If you want, if you want to approach something um, well, then you know I, I would suggest starting starting with the simple because you can see you can start to sort of pick and choose um, what works for you and what doesn't and. So just casting, you know, shorten that leader up. I'm talking about a five weight floating line. You're out nymphing. Shorten that leader up. Um, go to Walmart, get some 20 pound or 16 pound Zebco. I'm not kidding. Uh, I use it all the time and I change out leaders enough and it just fishing full sink. You, you get things, things are in trees and, and around rocks with, with the sink. Um, Spend a couple bucks on some 16 pound mono or fluoro. Uh, and fish a clouser or a, you know, a complex twist or um, my, my first aha moment was actually fishing a little Spring Creek with a John Barr slump buster. Single hook, cone head, rabbit, zonker with the big collar. Um, it doesn't this shit, I love fishing this. I love tying this. This is my baby. Is it necessary to target or to convince certain fish to eat? You know, I, I like to think so, but I bet you if I just fish this hard constantly, I'd still find a lot of success. And then it just you start to, you know, do I like swim flies? Um, is my fishery more leaning towards smallmouth and crayfish versus um, bait fish? It's, that's where you start to get the complications. And it's because of personal fishing preferences and, um, you know, geographically and uh, just river to river, what is in there? And so don't don't let the complication and all the long-winded and me using so many words to describe this, don't let that put you off from the idea of streamer fishing. And for those people who are streamer fishing and are just dead set on it being one way or complicated or this is the only way, you're wrong. You absolutely are wrong. I'm wrong about all this stuff. The fact that I like this profile and the kill and the movement it's not that it doesn't work, but it is that something else would work too. This isn't the only answer. So the only way all of this stuff happens is people experimenting and knowledge transfer. And, you know, this is a number of different steps away and a lot of bad flies in between, but starting to see some of the magic uh, of basically using Tommy Lynch's platform for the drunk and disorderly in the triple um, and just for my river, for how I fish, I wanted to see certain things. And then, you know, starting to focus more on using the front hook as a, a keeling and momentum exercise and using the back hook as that sticker, since they're eating it in the middle all the time. The more and more you're on the water, the more and more things you see, that's where the complications come in. And it's not that things are complicated and that they're hard. It's just that you put thought into it. And the more and more you're out there, the more and more that thought will become second nature. And it, it, it feels far less complicated. 
Um, but again, all of the complications either taken into account or completely ignoring all of them, the, the biggest gating factor to people understanding a little more about how trout feed and, and how much fun streamer fishing can be. And I'm and also bass. Um, I got into streamer fishing on fishing the Potomac, wading a very big river and finding little zones where schoolies would be up from coming up from the Atlantic and fishing smallmouth. And um, I, I started fishing on a floating line, <laughs> you know, cl collapsing a leader in the back of my head, fishing 2X. Um, I think the biggest gating factor is assuming you need to do one thing or another because all these people that have YouTube channels um, or, you know, videos came out 10 years ago, they're saying one thing or another. Um, that doesn't mean it's right. It just, it just means that's their personal opinion. Just like this swim bug is my personal preference or fishing the drunk. I, like I love fishing the hair bugs. I fish the peanut, I fish these jig flies all the damn time because they work. Uh, is it as fun? I don't think so. Does it work? Yeah. Um, I'm now moving away from, I was full sink 100% last year with buoyant flies, hair bugs. I'm now going, even with the buoyant flies, I'm digging more of the fact that it's, a, it's above the trout and so it's giving them a target. So why am I trying to move it down towards them um, so I'm like, I'm kind of moving towards the longer leader and, and maybe even an intermediate. I'm not all the way, but that's where my brain is. Uh, I assume that whatever I'm doing is not the best thing. And if I start experimenting and moving forward and finding that I'm getting less and less fish or I'm, I'm seeing follows, but I'm not getting those triggers that I was seeing before, well, then I'll move back to what was working. Um, but all the stuff in between, that's the only way that we all figure out how to fish for ourselves, because I know that how I fish isn't going to be how everyone loves to fish. It's the also the only way that, um, you know how to fish or know your favorite way, most productive way, whatever you want to call it for your river. Um, and then lastly, for the whole, you know, guiding and, and tying thing, all the experimentation and just being open to the fact that your ideas might suck and something else might be better. Um, or even though this works, why did it work? And maybe it's just because the fish were kind of off their meds that day. Um, being open to all of that and, and assuming that someone else might be onto something or that your angler, you know, as a guide, I, I'm watching people. I'll keep my mouth shut for a little while because I'm watching something that's a little different than what I would do. I'm just thinking, huh, you know, that that's pretty cool. Um, this person's a spay caster and a steelheader and, you know, they're doing one thing or another that might apply to different circumstances I find myself in, both fishing and guiding. Um, it, it's the only way that lack of lack of ego and, and just accepting that all of this is a learning process forever along with the knowledge sharing and, and being open to the fact that um, these fish can be targeted and caught in a whole whole bunch of ways that's the only way that we keep doing cool stuff and, and keep making fly fishing fun if it were the same damn thing and if everyone was right then none of us would be doing any streamer fishing we'd just be Fish and dry flies and um, streamers would be called gear, you know, as it as it were, not too long ago. So, if you're just starting, keep it simple. If you've been going for a while, try new shit. Um, try what you think doesn't work. Just try it. And, and I, I'll tell myself with a new fly or something that I have confidence in. Um, you know, things look good in the water; they feel right when I'm casting. And I'm just thinking. All right, just for an hour or two when it's really bitey, fish the balls out of this setup, out of this rod, line, leader configuration, this new fly. Fish it like you would one of your absolute go-to confidence flies and see what happens. Um, and that'll bring us to confidence flies. <laughs>